Hello developers. Today I'm going to show you how to build a click bot with Selenium. You all might know Selenium as a testing tool or tool for test automation. And yes, indeed it is. But um, it controls your browser or it can control a browser. And therefore you can use it also as a click bot. So what I'm going to do today is I will set up a Spring application um, which uses Selenium to do some kind of crawling and data analysis in the whiskey base. Yeah, that is a website which has data about whiskey and we are going to use Selenium to search things automatically in this whiskey base, collect some information and build a score. So it will do stuff like this. It will search for whiskey by typing here in this input field. Then we will get a list of all the whiskeys we found. Then we select one, for example, this one. And here you can see data about this Artback Black whiskey. And you can see that 34 guys have this whiskey in their wish list and 352 guys have it in their collection. And those two numbers can be used to build a score. That was at least uh, my idea as a whiskey fan. And depending on the score, I might get a rating how interesting it is to have this kind of whiskey bottle. So that is the whiskey theory. And first of all, let's see Selenium in action. Therefore, I switch to my IDE. Here I have the prepared Spring Boot project and um, it's using Selenium and I just execute it so that you see it somehow in action. It will be very fast because my internet connection is good and of course everything is automated with Selenium. So therefore here Selenium opens now the browser. It is searching for the whiskeys. We have a search result of whiskeys uh, search result set. And now it's clicking through every whiskey, collecting the data. Then it does again a second search for another kind of whiskey to compare it. And here we are doing again the data collection. And now um, the tool, the crawling is already done with my Selenium ClickBot and we have some kind of scoring result. I was a little bit lazy. I just wrote it into the console. But here you can see the Johnny Walker Gold Label Reserve Master Whiskey has, according to my logic, a score of 7% because it's in 74 wish lists and in 1404 collections. Compared to the Ulrich 1912 whiskey, it's not so old. It's just a German whiskey, which has this kind of old sounding name. But nevertheless, it's a smoky, tasty, very rare whiskey. Therefore, only 97 guys have it um, in their wish list and 792 guys in their collection. And whenever you want to buy a bottle, it's directly sold out. Yeah, so um, it's an interesting whiskey and probably therefore it has a higher score than the Johnny Walker Gold Label Reserve whiskey. But that's just so far my simple the theory based on, on crawling the whiskey base. And this topic is for whiskey fans and for coders and also just for coders who are interested in how to control the browser, how to build a clickbot with Selenium. So let's do this now. I'm already in my IDE. And as I mentioned before, I set up a sp um, Spring Boot project. So you can just use the Spring Initializer. You select your Spring version. I did here 2.7.4, which is as of today, the latest version. I selected Kotlin as programming language and Java version 17 as uh, Java runtime environment for Kotlin. If you know Java, probably you will understand my demonstration. If you know Kotlin, for sure you will understand my demonstration because the stuff I am doing here is really Selenium based and not so much about Kotlin um, programming languages specialties. Yeah. So 
the dependencies of that project are also super simple. It's just a default Spring Boot dependency, which you get nearly ever whenever you set a project without dependencies. We get some Kotlin dependencies, so that's also nothing special. And the only dependency we have to choose here is the Selenium dependency. So that is something you have to select during the setup of your project. Make sure you have it and then you can just use it. Well, if you are using Spring Boot, the version is managed um, by Spring Boot for you. If you have just a simple Maven or Cradle project, you have to manage the Selenium version on your own. Yeah. So this demonstration is also not much about Spring. Uh, it's about using Selenium. Okay, so Let's start with it. I prepared one class. I called it demo crawler and it has a method show whiskey. And the first thing I'm going to do in my presentation is I will open a browser. Then we will use it to open a page in the browser, search in URL. Then we will select elements on this page in the browser to interact with the page. Yeah. I will type in some text in the search field. Yeah, I switch quickly to my browser. So we will open a page like the first page. We will select here this input field, type text in it, um, then check the search results, um, select elements of the search results, open the detailed page about the whiskey and then or interact with an element. So that is what I'm going to demonstrate to you because with those four steps, you can yeah, build uh, your clickbots. And uh, most of the things I show you will cover already a lot of the things which you might do in your scenarios. Yeah, not everything, but um, you then you have a good set to start. Okay, so first of all, we want to have a browser. Therefore, we need a variable. In Kotlin, um, you, the, you define a variable with a keyword val and you make it private so that's just visible in the class as in Java. And I will call this variable browser. And the browser will be of the type Chrome driver. I'm using Google Chrome, so therefore I have to use the Chrome driver. If you have another browser, you would just use another driver of Selenium to do so. You see, I have right now a compile error. I decide to go with an init method to initialize the browser. So if I say now browser new Chrome driver, new is not a keyword in Kotlin, it's Java. So you just call the constructor of the class and, and that's it. Yeah, that uh, creates a new instance of the Chrome driver. And um, this will not work at the moment because um, I didn't provide a driver. So if you want to interact with your browser, you need a driver for it. And the driver for Chrome, yeah, I, I linked this in my uh, blog article. Yeah, if you scroll down a little bit, you will see here that you need a browser driver and for Chrome, you can download it here. So I'm here on this page and I can see there are three different browsers in the latest version, 107, 106, 105. Whenever you watch this video, there might be other versions. How do you see the version of Chrome? You can click here on these three dots and then go to help and about Google Chrome. And that shows you that in my case, I have the version 105. So I have to download this browser. It's a zip file. You extract it and you place it somewhere on your hard disk. I decided to put it in my source main resource folder. And there I created a subfolder called drivers windows. And here I placed the Chrome driver. And now I need to tell my application that I have this tri uh, driver at a special place. So I need to define it as a system property. So system set property, and there is a special name for it. It's called rep driver dot 
Chrome dot driver. So that is the key of this property and the value is the pass in your file system. So I'm marking now the Chrome driver and I copy the pass. I choose a relative pass. So I do it like this and that's it. Now um, the system knows where the Chrome driver is and when I initialize the Chrome driver it will read this system property to understand where to find the Chrome driver. I prepared here a method show whiskey and I want it to do already something and the simple thing to do with the browser is it can close the browser, doesn't do it something in the first place. I will do this step by step. But here this initialize method, the um, creating of a new instance, that opens already the browser. So I prepared um, my main method of my Spring Boot project a little bit. So it is starting in general the Spring Boot application, but not as a web server because yeah, we didn't use the dependency for a web server. It just searched for the bean demo crawler and then it calls here the method show whiskey. Yeah, so um, this thing is initialized and then the show whiskey method is called. And if I execute this now, let me set here a breakpoint because sometimes it's, it's very fast. So I will execute it now. Okay, starting it in debug mode. Um, here in the left side, again, the browser will pop up and it will just close as controlled by Selenium. Yeah, now I'm in the breakpoint mode. I will do now, um, I will make my IDE a little bit smaller so that we can always see here on the left side um, the Selenium uh, controlled browser and here on the right side the code. So next step uh, is just close the browser and if I execute it, it's, it's gone, yeah. Okay. So let's continue and do something with our browser. Let's open a page. So browser.get and get executes an HTTP GET request in the browser, which is typically used to open a page. Yeah, we will open the whiskey base in the Selenium controlled browser. And then I want to type something into this search field. So let's also prepare that with browser.findElement. You can search for an element in this page and you have to define it by several things. So I'm going to use um, by ID to define the element by its ID. What is an ID? If I go back here in the browser and I press uh, F12, yeah, the Google Developer Console opens and you can use it to analyze the elements on the page. So here I marked the um, input field and it has an ID and the ID here you can see it, it's called search input. And therefore I go back to Selenium and say by ID search input. Um, the result of that is stored in a variable. I will store it in um, yeah, search input. And I will make this as a two-liner so that you can better read it. And then I will do something with the search input. Yeah, I want to send keys to it. I want to type something in it. So I use the method send keys to send the key Alric, so let's search again for this German whiskey of the year 1912. And then to trigger the search, yeah, you can do this by clicking a button or you can do it by pressing the enter key. And I will do it by pressing enter key, though I can use um, an enumeration called keys and it has all possible keys like 
enter, arrow down, arrow left, and so on. So we use now enter. And let me set the breakpoint now here. If I restart the application, yeah, we will see here um, Selenium open a new Chrome window. Then it will directly open the whiskey ba based homepage because that is the first step. And it will type in Alric 1912 in the search field. Yeah, we see it already. Here it is. And we are already in the debug mode. So next thing I'm going to do is press enter, which will load the next page with the search results and then directly the browser closes. So next time I will be a little bit slower in the debug mode. But let's continue coding and check it out next time again. So the next interesting thing is when we have the search result page. Uh, okay, let me do this again in my browser, which I control by hand. Um, we will have here this list of whiskeys. And I want to select whiskeys in this list. I want to um, select every element because it contains a link. I can check again here the HTML structure in the developer console. And we see it's an A tag. Um, and the A tag is of class clickable and it contains an attribute href and the href is the link to the whiskey detail page. So let's select this. And there are several ways to select things. You can select it by ID, but unfortunately this one doesn't have an ID. So we can use XPath. And the Google Chrome Developer Console, if you press uh, Control F, you can here open some kind of search thing for the HTML and you can use it to type in XPath expressions. So I want to have every anchor tag with name. Uh, sorry, not with name. Uh, I want it with a class at class clickable. Clickable. OK. So I had to resize uh, the tabs here. Now you can see the XPath expression A with class at clickable has six results. Uh, if I go through all the results, you see the marking changing here on the left side. So that is exactly what I want. I want all the A tags which are clickable. So I go back to my code use again the browser to find elements. Yeah, now I want all elements, so I use find elements. Instead of find element, what I used if I wanted to have only one uh, element, which I want to use for interaction. So we search this time not by ID, we search by XPath. And the XPath can be defined again as a string. And I copied the string from the um, Chrome Developer Console A uh, with class clickable. So let's bring this also to the next line and store this result in a variable called whiskeys because it's a list of all whiskeys I found. And then um, in Kotlin, you can address the first element in a list. Uh, by, by brackets, uh, like you address an array in Java, but in Kotlin you can also address a list in the same way as you address an array. And then I have one Selenium web element. Yeah, so find results returns Selenium web elements, a list of them. And I take the first web element and then I want to read an attribute of it. So I use the method get attribute. And as we have seen before, the name of the attribute is href. And that is then my whiskey URL to the next page. And yeah, again, I will use um, browser.get method to open this page. So whiskey URL. So that's now my new show whiskey method. We will use the breakpoint here and then go step by step. So let's check it out again. I restart the application. Selenium will pop up now on the left side. As before, it will open the whiskey base page and type in Alric 1912 in the search. Yeah, so whiskey base field search field is filled. I 
press now enter with Selenium, not with my uh, keyboard. So we have the search results. Next thing is browser will find all the web elements of the, which have the um, XPath expression we wrote. And then I take the first whiskey in this um, result list and I take its href attribute and I will type it now with Selenium in the browser. So browser.getWhiskey URL will finally open um, the page of this whiskey here. So move on and here we are on this page. And then before the browser um, closes now, let's um, check what we can else do. Yeah, We can also click with Selenium on a button. Yeah, And if I press now F12 in this uh, window controlled by Selenium, let's make it bigger now for analysis. I want to have um, this OK button and I want to click on it. Yeah, We can see here it has also an XPath expression. So let's um, Let's try to find it with XPath. Not ha it hasn't tag here, but not an ID. So we will use an XPath expression to find it. Slash slash button because the tag name is button. And you can see here there are 17 buttons on that page. So it's not clear which one we want to have, but there's only one button I want to click. So let's mark it by its name. The button I want to click has the name equals allow because we allow the cookies and here you see now we have only one search result for this xpath expression and that is exactly that button so let's copy the xpath expression to the expression which we figured out um, let's quickly save it here and use it later and um, i will finish the execution now so that the selenium controlled window closes and let's continue by clicking now this button. Clicking a button um, works again in the same style as uh, everything. First, we have to select the element. Oh, sorry, now I restarted again the application. That's something I didn't want to do. Okay, so um, let's find first the element and we find it again by XPath, so I use by XPath, and I use the XPath expression I stored a moment ago in the line below. Make it in a new line for better readability. And this is um, the OK button as a web element, and with a button, um, you, you can click on it. So OK button dot click and that will click on the button. I will put my breakpoint now directly to the OK button so that we um, go faster about the first stuff. And now I re-execute my application. Yeah, as always, it will first uh, open the whiskey base type uh, Alric in the search field, then take the first uh, result of the search list and open the details page. And now the breakpoint is already active, so I can select the button by finding it as a Selenium element, a web element. Now I have the button, yeah, and pay now attention to this pop-up. When I um, go over OK button dot click, yeah, it will just disappear. Yeah, so the button has been clicked, the element is gone. If we scroll down here in the Selenium Control browser, we don't see it anymore. Yeah, so that worked. And now I can finish my application. And yeah, that's it. We have um, set up now a simple Selenium. Clickbot. Yeah, um, I want give you now an, an, I want to give you now a summary. Yeah, we have a browser or we have a web driver, and it's a kind of Chrome driver, but I call it browser to make it a little bit more clear what it is. Um, 
We open the browser just by doing an initializing of the Chrome driver. And then um, with four simple um, methods, you can do really a lot in Selenium. First thing is you can open pages with get. Yeah, there you can open any URL. The next uh, important thing is you can use find elements to find and select um, any HTML element in the browser. And you can interact with it. Yeah, you can send keys to it, for example, which is important to fill out forms in input um, formulas yeah so that is something what you often do um, and you can interact with it by clicking the web element like i did here that is something what we do always with buttons and um, the last uh, important thing is of course you can read details from your elements like i did here with um, the get attribute uh, method to see what is really on the page yeah and that's all so simple it is to Build um, to to build a clickbot with Selenium, and if you are able to build a clickbot, of course you are also able to do test automation with Selenium. Yeah, you just code in the same way as I did here, and you add some kind of assertions. Um, to structure complex things with Selenium, yeah, you should also think about classes and and that stuff. Yeah, but here for this demo, I just used one method. Yeah, but when you do testing with it and do more than a simple clickbot, yeah, you should really take care of it. Yeah, that's it. If you are happy with my video, please uh, like it and um, yeah, subscribe to my channel so that you get updated about future videos. So have a nice day and see you in the next video. Bye bye.